Thank you very much for everyone who came to this afternoon performance with da Young Dada Fest. We will be giving you a nice sneaky peek of our concert tonight, which will be starting at six o'clock. Yes, well remembered. And so before we get started showing off, I, for those who will need it, I am Ben. I am about six foot tall. I have a black mostly black on all and across me with one wonderful t-shirt showing off mushrooms with a very simple slogan in Russian going advance the mushroom revolution. <laughs> Behind me we have our wonderful ensemble. To my left we have our wonderful keyboards who will now start waving at you now. We have our wonderful string players also to my left slightly further forward who will also wave to you. At the back, we have our percussionists who will wave. 
To our right, we have a mix of guitars, bass guitar, acoustic guitar and gem bass, who will all wave as well. So before we get on to the fun things of Music for Friends, we're just going to do a little bit of jamming to make sure that all the sounds are working well. So I hope you enjoy. Enjoy the show. <laughs> come slightly further forward so I can ask them some questions. Okay. Ah, as you're here first, I'll ask you questions first, Callum. So we have Callum here next to me, who's medium height with fantastic shorts on, wonderful necklaces on, and fantastic curly hair. Just what we want to see. So firstly, can you tell everyone what instrument do you play? Well I, play, well, I play a mix of guitar and piano, but today I will be playing piano. And which one's your favourite? I prefer guitar over keyboard, but I decided to participate this time. Ah, and would you say you're better at guitar than keyboard, or uh, which one are you better at? I play guitar and more better guitar than keyboard. Ah. And what's your favourite kind of music? I vary, depending on the mood. Ah, so today, what's your favourite kind of piece? To be honest, Ruthie's. Ah, your choice. Very good choice indeed. And what's been your favourite thing about working with Young Dada? Meeting new people and having a good time overall, to be honest. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Callum. Next. Yes, very good. Next we have Tyler, who is... Oh, wow, yeah, five foot eight. He's nearly as tall as I am. With fantastic glasses, a wonderful polo shirt. Oh, and very cool trainers as well. So firstly, can you say, what instruments do you play? Drums and guitar. Ah, and which one's your favourite? Drums. Um, which are you better at? Drums. Very nice. And what kind of music do you like? Punk and metal. Ah, favourite band? Billy Talent. Ah, very good. And favourite song? Travesty. Ah, very good. So we'll have to check that one out. And what have you liked about working with Young Dada? 
Which is enjoyable uh, to be here then. Yeah. And has it been nice to sort of work with other people as well, or has there been anything that you found particularly helpful playing in Dada? Uh, yeah, I found more helpful playing in larger groups. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Tyler. <laughs> Next, we have... Next, we have Zach here, who is medium height. He has wonderfully nice short hair as well, a wonderful polo shirt. Is that Ralph Lauren that no, you got on there? Oh, very fancy. And what instruments do you play? I play the drums and uh, Arthropod. Ah, and which one's your favourite? Arthropod. And what are you best at? I'm uh, best uh, at um, uh, Arthropod. Ah, and what kind of music do you like? Um, with a song. Ah, yes, so we've got a very popular young lady here, haven't we? And what do you like most about playing with Young Dada? I'm a dad, I love all the best group. And then um, I first started Dada um, with him. Um, um, I like Dada in the best, all the other best. In the peoples, and then, and then, the dance to an end, and then, on the arc group, and I'm singing, and with the song, I play with that in that night. Fantastic. Any uh, insights about today? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, really 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 song. song. <laughs> and then um, so evening. Ah, fantastic. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Ruthie, our particularly seems to be superstar of the day. Ooh, she, exactly. She has magnificent ear defenders on with shiny jeans and shiny hoodie as well. Is unicorns on there? Very nice. And she's in a very funky wheelchair, which I'm trying to convince her to do backflips in Don't soon. Only a matter of time, but soon we'll get her doing tricks and everything. So, what instruments do you play? The iPad, and I do singing as well. And oh. the drum, but I don't know what it's called. Djembe. Djembe. Ah, very nice. And what, which one's your favourite? I'm not choosing. Oh, which one are you best at? Singing! Ah, yes, that is very true. You are a very, very good singer indeed. And what kind of music do you like? My song, like everyone else has said. <laughs> <laughs> and are there, any, are there any other bands that you particularly like outside? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no one quite compares to you, do they, Ruthie? <laughs> and what do you like most about playing with Young Dada? From the rubbish in the dump. <laughs> Do you want to explain to everyone what that is? Because they, as they haven't been in practice, they don't know exactly what you mean. Well, I throw the rubbish in the bin when, when people have snack in the hall. The, um, they leave the rubbish for me, and me and Ben, when he's there, dumps it. Yeah. Well, puts it in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there any other things you want to say before we do the rest of the concert? Lovely, jubbly, and let it! Fantastic, thank you very much for the So next we are going to play through Music for Friends, which is a piece that I wrote for these lovely people behind me. There are, if anyone saw the sort of social media, there were lots of other movements that I had written for the group as well, but we're not showing them off today. Today we are focusing on a game, Many solos, and then a piece written by uh, another friend of mine called Carmel, called Colours. And Megan, do you want to tell everyone how the game works? No, Megan's feeling strangely shy today. So with it, quite simply, oh, we've got enthusiasm. Jack, do you want to come up and say the rules? Yeah. Zach, sorry. <laughs> okay, so what are the rules of the game? Just like there's a spa. Yeah, exactly. So 
There will be rhythms played by Megan here to my right on her wonderful djembe. She'll play lots of improvised rhythms, but there is one rhythm you're not allowed to play back, and you'll find out very, very quickly which, rule, which one that one is. So enjoy the game. for Megan as well, who did fantastically in this one. The next section is many solos. Our lovely strings will be setting up a nice backdrop for everyone else to have a chance to show off how good they are. So enjoy.
last part of Music for Friends is colours. And you will see me dancing around a bit with these colours, with everyone playing around, making a very magical musical thing. So I hope you enjoy. that we also have a little extra surprise the very famous little song by Ruthie will be next so I'm going to invite Carl up to be, give a bit of an introduction to this lovely song that has been made by made by the members of the ensemble Carl is about the same height as me wonder it's a little bit but it's nice that we both have beards going on lovely hair it's a good look that we've got going on so pass it on to Carl. Okay. okay this is Ruthie's tune that she's composed with Mark which, as you heard before, everybody loves this tune. I'm sure you will too. It's it's wonderful. Okay, are you ready for? Me?
Wasn't that brilliant? I think Ruthie deserves an extra round of applause for that song. As does everyone else in the ensemble. Nice big round of applause. And a big round of applause to our wonderful members of staff who made this happen as well. Ah, fantastic. I've now been told this would be a time when I may be asked some questions about Music for Friends. Is there any questions in the room? Oh, straight up there. So you want to know how they learned to be books? How did you? Because I didn't teach you. Who taught you? Um, so I've been teached by um, a special guy called James Lyons. And um, I've been learning with him about six or seven years now. Oh, wow. And I've been doing tricks with him. And um, when I um, started to, <coughs> to do it, I've been doing... I've been learning on um, in YouTube, uh, on YouTube and learning there. And ah, so is it mostly self-taught? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Isn't he a very talented person? I think he yeah. deserves an extra round of applause. Yeah. Question at the back there. Oh, so get, getting into specifically for this ensemble, I think most of this is from Resonate at the, um, what's it, at the Notre Dame School, which is on Great Homer Street. And so most of these instruments come either come from them or in the circumstances of Josh, it's his very own guitar, which he's very eager to show off. Yeah, and, and Tyler's as well. So hold your guitars nice and high, lads, so then everyone can see them. So we got Tyler's there. Oh, and Chase as well, so... Yes. Yes, we have a fan... So a few people have their own instruments. Oh, very quickly, Josh. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got Josh in a wonderful T-shirt with his... Uh, what's it with your pics around your neck as well? Um, ask me some questions. Oh, so what questions do you want to be asked, Josh? About, about how do I love my music? Oh, how much do you like your music then, Josh? Okay. Okay, so let's do it one by one. How much do you enjoy Dada Fest? Well, Dada has been um, going for the last couple of weeks. I had um, a year, but I've been playing guitar since I was nine years old. Fantastic. And do you want to show everyone how much did your guitar cost? The guitar I made um, only cost me 360 in Dawson's. Does anyone, does anyone go to Dawson's sometimes to show the guitars? It's all about, it's all about the music and uh, just, it's, it's called, and it's also called Dart Off for Friends. And I'm, and I'm the, the part of, of, of the blue, um, the music and blue, What's the what's the call it for blue, blue room member? You know for Dada member. Ah, and very good. Very good. And last thing, what is your favourite band? My favourite band in the last couple of weeks with the director I was bought is my favourite guitarist. How's it you two? Is the Edge? Fantastic. Thank you very much. We need to ask other people first questions first. But thank you very much, Josh. Is he fantastic? <laughs> oh. We haven't had questions this side of the room. On to my right, anyone feeling brave? Anyone curious? Oh, someone at the back there. Thank you very much. So how long it takes us to, to get used to the instruments and get as good as they've gotten? Yeah. Oh, so... 
Okay, so if you, hands up everyone if you've been playing your instruments more than a year. Oh, we've got quite a few. More than two years? More than three? Oh, we've got some very hard learners here. Four? Oh, wow. How about five years? Six? Seven? Still going. More than ten? We got some dedicated people here, haven't we? Oh, and Tyler's still going as well. Is it more than 12 years? No. No. How long has it been going then, Tyler? 10, 10 or 11 years. So, as you see, everyone has a very, very long time to sort of learn their instruments and get used to them. And then within this particular concert, we've been working together since February? Yeah, so we've been working together since February. I started coming to see the rehearsals, see how these wonderful people work. I was then making things up as we went along, and then by about March time, the piece was finished, and then we've been practicing as much as we can ev almost every single week since then, and this is how we've managed to be quite so good by then. The musical fusion, and it's a thing that uh, we're, like Georgina was saying, I've been uh, playing the guitar since, how long is it now, Georgina? It's nine, nine years as well, so, fantastic. So, uh, apparently, Nine guitars, fantastic. Oh, Ruthie has a question. No, it's not a question. Oh, it's a question. I can't believe that I've just done that. <laughs> Wasn't she fantastic? <laughs> Go on, isn't she absolutely wonderful? Fantastic. Are there any other questions? Any from the beanbags down here? Any questions now? Are you just enjoying being on the beanbags? Yeah, Fair. That's a good way to be. They are fantastic beanbags right at the front. Oh, another question at the back. Oh, I'll ask them first. Was it difficult? No. No? Was it quite easy? Really easy. Very good. So yes, it was making sure they did their best and working together with everyone. That is very, very true. And it, oh, Ruthie as well? Teamwork makes the dream work. Exactly, exactly. Oh, question over here. I think, well, after we've done these questions, we'll be getting you all involved in a little bit. Oh, you'll have to find out. We'll tell you the rules in a little bit. Just have to be a little bit more patience. Just a smidgen more. Any other questions? Any others? Oh, go on. And um, for little ones, then it depends. You can do half or half size or whatever fits the person or really. Quarter size sometimes. Quarter size. And then with the double bass, is that a full yeah. size one? No, this is only a three quarter, so it can be a bit bigger than this. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I think you can see you can see how much I've got to spread out on you. So it is getting a bit too small, but you just because I've been playing for so many years, you do have to adjust to a bigger size. So I'm going to try and hold on to it for as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh we could quick, ask lady at the back first and then come back to you. We've got a question from Twitter. Oh, fantastic. Oh, for Ruthie's song. Was that you, Ruthie, who wrote the lyrics? Someone help me. Who did? Mark. Oh, fantastic. And how long, and how long did you work on those words? but are you happy with how everyone did in your song? OMG! I can't believe that I've just <laughs> done that. Fantastic. Oh, so we have a question here. I have two questions. Two questions. Um, one is, 
two questions. First of all, why is there a sign language club here? <laughs> One, because we want to make sure that everyone can enjoy the concert. This is why we have a BSL signer. But also, as we are having this concert streamed online, there will be people at home who will be needing it to be able to sort of interpret what's going on. So that's why we have our wonderful signer here. So can we have a quick round of applause for our signer? <laughs> Question number two. <laughs> um, am I now going to be famous? Oh, you might be. You might be. You have to find out by the end of the day, I think. <laughs> we'll find out for Twitter famous. We'll keep you posted on that one. Oh, I think we've got five, a few more questions, I think. Go on. Oh, at the back. Let's ask that by section by section. So our guitars, what was the hardest bit? Out of the, all the music we've done just now, what was the hardest bit? Was it difficult learning the chords, Josh? And are you able to tune the guitar yourself, Josh? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, very I'm good. absolutely cheating because I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm using my phone to help me. Ah, fantastic. It's, uh, also, it's also about giving, my, giving the, the guitar is the right, is the right thing. The Gibson's been in tune for a long, long time, so it's stay in tune forever. Fantastic. So, and our yeah. drums, what was the hardest bit out of all the music we did just now? Oh, getting the beat together. Yeah, so... Mm. Yeah, so it was very hard to get the top bits of the drums in. Uh, and was it easier having a wonderful team of you back there? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. And keyboards, what was the hardest part? Probably trying to make all the heads beat the same. Yeah, and what about yourself? And as you had the beatboxing in there as well, what was the most difficult throughout all the music that we've done? Staying in time. Staying in time. It, it is very challenging to do that sometimes, isn't it? And string players, what was the most difficult for you? Because you, you got brought into this process very late, so you had to learn a lot of things very, very quickly. So what was the most difficult for you guys? Fantastic, fantastic. Does that answer your question? Yes, sir. Wonderful, <laughs> fantastic. Any others? Oh, we've got back here. Is this more Twitter questions? Oh, hello, Plymouth. Okay, so I'll count to three here. Everyone say hello, Plymouth. One, two, three. Hello, fantastic. That is a good question, David. How long has the ensemble been together? <laughs> I think, I think John, you Oh, John, been how long have they been? It's been about five years. Five years, fantastic. But different members have come and gone in that time. Ah. Some people have been with us for a long time, some people are newer, but since it, re since it first started, about five years. Fantastic, and who here was initially at the beginning? Josh has been with us. Josh is out. Georgina's been with us. And Kyle, I think, you've been with us since the 
Oh, fantastic. And who's our youngest member? Tyler, have you only been here for one year? Tyler's been with us for a long time. Ellen oh. is possibly our most recent member. Most recent member, fantastic. Wonderful, that's wonderful. So any other questions going on? Hands right up. Oh, so we'll, is it difficult with technology with the classics? So we'll ask the technology people if they find it difficult, and then we'll ask the classics people. So our wonderful high-tech team, is it difficult to work with these people? No. No, has it been nice and easy? No. Yeah. It's, do you sometimes find it's a bit hard to balance with them? Because as you have amps and everything, it can be very loud very easily. Is that a bit of a challenge, or are you just very happy to just have them here? It is a challenge, fantastic. And then string players, how, what is it like playing alongside all this technology? It's cool if you play well. Yeah. It's just, sometimes to be at the same volume as them is a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> so, yes, so it's mostly volume is the main problem, but everyone has just got on absolutely fantastically, very easily. Any others? Oh, go on back. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's it. That got you Okay, okay. So let's go around one by one. So what inspired you to start learning music? I've got no idea. Okay. <laughs> Pip? Um, I always loved music from when I was little. Okay. John? Same. Don't know. <laughs> Molly? Josh, what got you into music, except from you two? Uh, the reason about, about music uh, is um, about myself, because I always listen to the, to one of the other songs, it's like, when, we, when, when, when there is an, uh, there's a, um, when we did uh, our, uh, something, Baruco, it was like, um, it was a Captain B heart, um, oh, uh, and the Axe and you too, oh. and we had, uh, and I, and we, and I was the one who had, the wah wah pedal, so I oh, think, fantastic. So, 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 uh, so I've been uh, really helped the guitars out, helped the pianos because when I was in Redbridge, when I was in primary school, I, uh, I, uh, I found out when I met Georgia and my friend, and my good friend John, and also I found a friend called Carl, who had a dress like me, and I think it's uh, and I think Dave, my drummer, and the other, and the other feeling was, the other feeling was. I wrote a song called Here I Am. Yes, and, you did. And, and in my band, am I right, Josh, in thinking your song, your song Here I Am is on YouTube? It's it's on, on, oh, it will be, so you need to keep so, your eyes open for Josh's so, song. So if, if anyone wants to go on to YouTube, Rufus' song is on there, and then after that, my song comes up with, with John, me, there's John, me, John, the bass guitarist, and John, and the guitarist, and Dave, He's one of my good drummers. <laughs> and, uh, one of the good. Emphasis on one of the good ones. <laughs> Yeah. Um, the band Aerosmith. Oh, Aerosmith. That's a very good <laughs> place to start. Carl, what got you into music? Um, Stevie Wonder and the Beatles. Oh, Stevie Wonder and the Beatles. That's a good choice, definitely. Georgina, what about you? I think music is the best language of all of ah, oh, no, no, Beautiful. No. Tyler, what got you into music? Uh, several bands in general. Ah, fair. Wh which one in particular? Very nice, very nice. Eleanor, what got you into music? Oh, that's a very good answer indeed. Zach, what about you? Oh, oh fantastic. Oli Mers. Oh, and Bruno Mars as well. Oh, they're very good indeed. How about you, Megan? Charlotte? Um, it was actually Carl. Ah, yeah, 
that's the end of Carl to blame. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and how about yourself, then, Kate? Oh. Um, it's, always, it's always kind of been in my family. Ah, okay. And Gabriella? Yeah, like, my mum my played the violin, so obviously that inspired me as well. Fair. Kyle? You don't know. It's just something you fell in love with quite quickly. There. What about you, Luke? <laughs> Same kind of thing. There. It was initially a punishment that I went to. <laughs> <laughs> now, was that a punishment you put on yourself, or was it your parents who punished you with it? One of my parents. Ah. Ah, okay, wonderful. And then with me, I sort of I grew up surrounded by brass bands, and so then from there did a bit more, and as we went along, I then found myself in this circumstance, which is always a very surprising thing to look back in that instance. So now, we're going to get you guys involved. Yes, Ruthie? I've got a question. Quick question, very last thing. We're... And it was a question you were asking us. Yes. What, you, what got you into music, Ben? Me? <laughs> ah, well... Good question. Exactly. So as I said, I grew up surrounded by brass bands, and I initially started playing the trombone. As I got older, I found that I liked writing music more than I liked playing, and now I tend to write more music than anything else, and I'm now terrible at trombone, which is very, very sad. But I, yes, that's how I got into it that way. Yes, Zach? So that's Gargaka, the early Gargaka. Oh, no, that's very sad. The last one? Last Gargaka. Oh, no, we'll have to make sure it's a good one then, won't we? So now... Yeah, so now we have a bit where we get all of you involved and people at home as well. So everyone watching on the camera back home. Hi, we're going to get you involved as well. We need Megan to come to the front because she is our wonderful leader of this game. So with this, very simple. Megan, when she comes to my right, will she'll be playing a rhythm. You have to repeat it. You can sing, you can clap, you can stamp, do whatever you wish. Okay. There is only one response you're not allowed to do, which Megan will demonstrate now. What's the one rhythm they can't play? Yeah, yeah, this one back. Okay, so you need to be listening, I need to be watching, and I hope you enjoy.
think everyone deserves a round of applause. Thank you everyone who played it at home. Thank you for everyone who played along in the audience. Can we have a big round of applause again for the wonderful ensemble? Everyone stand up. Thank you very much. I want to say thank you to Dada Fest for making this event happen. I want to say thank you to the Liverpool Philharmonic for allowing us to use this room and make a hell of a lot of noise. Yeah, exactly. I want to once again thank our interpreter for this afternoon. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. I want to thank all the members of staff in Young Dada who've helped make this happen, who've made the learning process nice and easy. So extra round of applause for them. <laughs> I want to say thank you again to the lovely people, because these lovely string players are from the Liverpool Philharmonic Youth Orchestra, so thank you to them for joining us. And thank you very much for everyone who came along. We greatly appreciate it. We have our concert at six, and so we hope to see you then. Thank you, and see you later.